Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Visma Rizkan Ali from grade 11. I'm here to represent you all some information on health promotion, which would be useful to you all. Let's get started. According to WHO, health promotion is the process of enabling people to increase control over and to improve their health. It's more beyond a focus on individual behavior towards a wide range of social and environmental intervention. It's clear that the health promotion is the broader concept that requires the involvement of entire society. Health promotion can empower individuals to make healthier choices and reduce their risk of disease and disability. Let's see some strategies of health promotion. Number one, build a health promoting environment. Number two, Build a community participation for health promotion. Number three, recruitment and organization of services necessary for health promotion. Number four, develop skills required for health promotion. Number five, formulation of policies rele relevant to health promotion. Centers of health promotion. Health promotion can be done in various places, some of them. Hospital, school, city. We can utilize these centers of health promotion according to the strategies of health promotion. Let's see some actions to be developed school health promotion. Number one, formulation of health promotion policies. Number two, building an environment favorable, favorable for health promotion. Number three, community participation in health promotion. Number four, developing skills required for health promotion. Number five, provision of required services for health promotion. Let's see brief about these strategies. Formulation of health promotion policies. The development of pro-health policies can create an environment favor favorable to promotion of health. In formulating a health policy, the first step is to identify the current health issue and solve it. As a students, we have a great respon res responsibility to make school health promotion policies. Example, policies for waste management. Let's see some school health promotion policies are list policies. Adequate knowledge on health Health should be provided to students. Pre present of clean drinking water in school. School must have hygienic canteens. The school environment should be accident free. Students who are aged 12 years and below should, pro should provide with school dental services. School books should be printed with as appropriate for each age group. Appropriate height of desk and chairs should be determined for each age group. Let's study brief about building an environment favorable for health promotion. We, we are now going to, going to study brief about physical environment, mental environment, social environment. Physical environment, provision of clean drinking water, provision of adequate toilet facilities, School gardening, accident free environment, provision of adequate facilities for sport. Mental environment, students should not be insulted. Establishing council services, school environment should be free from stress. There should not be any from abuse. All students should be treated equally. Social environment, safeguard democracy, availab availability of space for group work, healthy students teacher relationship. Providing opportunities for sport activities, availability of programs to spend leisure time usefully. These are some pictures of physical environment. This is classroom environment, classroom with adequate space, facilities to engage in sport activities, mental environment, counseling services, treating equally others. Number number three. Community uh, participation in health promotion. The school health promotion programs give rise to health promotion in the community as well. Examples, members of, members of the community assist in dengue eradiction campaign. 
As a result, their awareness and interest in dengue addiction may be in increased. Number two, Shramadana campaign by members of community. As a result, minimize community accident that can occur in school premises. Number four, developing skills required for health promotion. To improve the health status of a school, workplace, or village, some behavioral modifications are required. Skills can be developed by providing knowledge through books and educational workshops, group competitions, debates, and sport competition. Examples, good decision making, selecting healthy food from what is available in market, effective communication, the ability to understand what is implied in advertisement correctly. Number five, provision of required services for health promotion. The government carries out school health ins inspection to improve the health status. They also provide iron with iron and folate tablets. The public health inspector carries out an annual school sanitation survey to which area that can be rise to illness or accident are identified and measures are taken to prevent them. Let's see some criteria for school health promotion evolution. Evaluation. Number one, identifying methods for of carrying out these health policies. Number two, recognition of health policies that can be carried out by school, by the school. Mm -hmm. Number three, accepting the need to follow established health policies. With this, I would like I would like to wind uh, wind up presentation. Thanks for joining with me. I hope it was it was useful to you all.